It's Tuesday, September 25th, 2007, and you're watching The Ointment. I'm Steve Tatum, and I can only dream of being a one-hit wonder. Today is National One-Hit Wonder Day. I don't know who made it up. Just go with me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play for you a one-hit wonder for every item in today's news. So here we go. Our top story for the first time in 30 years, United Auto Workers have walked out during contract negotiations. They have gone out on strike against General Motors. Coincidentally, so have General Motors customers. What song do we have for the United Auto Workers as they walk the picket lines today? a lot of sense to me. Senator Hillary Diane Rodham Clinton has taken a new stand. She is not going to vote for any more money authorizing the funding of the war in Iraq until there's a plan to bring those troops home. And she appeared on all five news programs over the weekend to explain her position. And she brought the full Senator Clinton charm with her. And I think you know what I'm talking about. Let's kick it. And I mean that in only the nicest possible way, and I say that because if I don't, she'll have me iced. President Bush has gotten into the swing of the campaign season, and he's gone out and made himself a bold political prediction. He has predicted that the Republicans are going to win the White House once again in 2008. And you know he's right because, well, hasn't he been right about everything else? Why did he go out and make this prediction? That explains a lot of things. Turning to international news, Japan's ruling party, the Liberal Democrats, are in a whole heap of trouble. So what have they done? They have rearranged the deck chairs on the Titanic. They've gone out and selected themselves a new prime minister. And his name is, be careful how you say this, his name is Fukuda. And in entertainment news, we have this from the world of rap. Rapper DMX is in trouble because they have found 12 abused dogs in his home. Three dogs buried in his yard, unexplained. And, well, he does have an explanation. He was just trying to make a career change. He wants to be quarterback of the Atlanta Falcons. But I've got a song for him, which is, of course... Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who? And finally, the last bit of news and song for today is about screen legend Mickey Rooney, who gave an interview this week in which he talked about the low point in his career, which was back in the 60s and 70s. Back then he said he couldn't get any work, so instead what he would do is he would hire himself out for 100 bucks or so as a guest at a private party. And a couple of things occurred to me when I heard this. One, how sad, and two, can we get him as a guest on the ointment? But then it occurred to me that, no, we probably can't afford that. So let's hear this for Mickey Rooney, and I want to say to you, that's the ointment for another day. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Steve Tatum, and that's news. Catch you tomorrow, everybody.